opening day of the Burbot Bash 2021. We got Travis here. Oh, good save. Cooking some sort of fajita meat, some sort of coleslaw stuff. Pretty good. We got Travis, his dad, John, brother, Jason. Out here in the boonies. Got a long line of jaw jackers. Look at all this. We're obsessed with jaw jackers. Got a big group of guys to the south of us. Got an even bigger group of guys to the north of us. These guys, these guys set up a wall tent on the lake. I'm just saying. They know what they're doing. Go, bro. Food's ready? Food's ready. Food's ready. Oh, let me get a footage of this thing, what it looks like before we eat it. Oh, yeah, see? No, no. Yeah. Well, we're going to kill some burbs tonight. Good, good. We'll keep you updated. guys video update it is 650 got our fire going mm. 650 we are up to four burbot all the wood our jaw jackers the tip up lights I stop her bobbers again. Keep the holes from freezing over the line. Jig and jaw jackers. Watch them jig. Yep. There's that lazy man fishing. Cute little guy. Nothing terribly big. Oh well. To start somewhere. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Hello. There's the moon starting to come up. Beacon of hope. <laughs> Better not affect my burbot fishing. Kind of cool though. Time is now, I don't know, somewhere around seven o'clock. 7.07. No more burbot have been caught. John over there checking his. All right, video update. It's 9.20. We are roasting us some hot dogs. Hot dogs. We got the ketchup, the buns. Yeah. We're up to about 16. 16 burbot but we're spreading them out now fishing's died down <laughs> <laughs> don't slip Got drilling more holes past the tent drilling more holes behind the tent drilling more holes all over the place yep it's dinner time all right, video update. It's uh, 11.20. We decided to come inside because we haven't gotten a fish for a while. Um, show you the setup we're dealing with. We've got enough room on each corner of the tent 
to have a hole in each corner. And we got our one inch flooring with a tarp underneath. Flip around to this side. We got a hole over in that corner. There's a hole over <laughs> past Travis's head that you can't see. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, we got our big buddy heater with a fan, amazing. Really nice about this floor is you can put the heater right on it and it won't even melt the tiles. Uh, the tiles are nice and durable, so it's kind of convenient. Got our suits up to dry. Batteries are all pulled in for the night. Yeah. It's kind of nice in here. I Last night I fell asleep just like this. We'll see if I get down into the sleeping bag, but um 46 feet of water right here. Haven't marked a single fish all day. So is that the coconut? Not in this spot. Very well. Yeah, we'll see. We're gonna wake up about two o'clock, see, check our poles, rebate, reglow, go back to bed till we gotta go turn in the fish. We've talked to four four other groups and we've caught almost 20 compared to their two and two other groups had zero so we're doing good compared to everyone else on this stretch bad compared to the tournament i'm assuming but what do you expect
guys, 2021, catching a trout. Travis just got this awesome tip up from the Burbot Bash worker people. All right, everyone. As you just saw, the video footage cut out pretty uh, steep. My phone was being extremely dumb. It said my storage was full, so I was unable to finish recording any of our bash experiences. We didn't get to record the fish turn in, the fish measuring of our big 30 incher. We didn't get to film the second night. I don't know, it was, I'm upset. But I'll give you a recap. Uh, Travis won, well, was given the tip up. I was given a cutting board and some thermals. Our team ended the tournament with 32 burbot, which was more than anyone else in that bend of the river that you saw the drone footage of. We caught three Lakers, one rainbow and one cutty. All in all, it was an extremely slow year for us. So, you know, it is what it is, but we still had fun getting to know more people. I actually ran into some people in the parking lot who pulled me over and said, hey, we've watched some of your videos. I was like, ah, that's small world in a parking lot. So that was cool. Uh, but just want to let you guys know how the trip ended for us. But all in all, it was good. We'll pro we'll do it again. We're probably going to head up to the Dingaling up at Fontenelle now. But thanks for watching, guys. And hope you enjoyed and learned stuff. Okay, bye.